A federal judge in Florida just ruled that Trump's labor secretary abused his prior position as a U.S. attorney by violating victims' rights laws to protect a billionaire pedophile from criminal prosecution for molesting at least 40 underage girls. Ruling embedded below. Jeffrey Epstein hired an all-star legal team including Alan Dershowitz and Jay Lefkowitz to defend himself against substantiated allegations of sex crimes, and Labor Secretary Alexander Acosta was then the U.S. attorney in charge of prosecuting him. Acosta gave Epstein a top-secret, sweetheart deal to avoid all federal prosecution in exchange for pleading guilty to a couple of minor state offenses and serving a cursory sentence mostly in his own plush offices. Epstein's victims filed suit over 10 years ago when they found out about Acosta's secret deal and today the judge ruled that prosecutors broke the Crime Victims' Rights Act, CVRA, by not only failing to inform the victims before they agreed not to prosecute the billionaire but actually lying to the women by sending out false notices that the case was ongoing. The judge ruled that the CVRA was designed to give the victims the same opportunity to attempt to affect prosecutorial decisions before they became final. Instead, the office engaged in lengthy negotiations with Epstein that included repeated assurances that the non-prosecution agreement would not be made public or filed with the court. The 33-page ruling recounts in painstaking detail the numerous conversations via email between prosecutors and Epstein's lawyers and their total cover-up of one of America's largest known sex crimes for the sheer number of underage women he abused. The judge opined, based upon the investigation, the United States has identified 40 young women who can be characterized as victims pursuant to 18 U.S.C. 2255. Some of those women went to Mr. Epstein's home only once, some went there as many as 100 times or more. Some of the women's conduct was limited to performing a topless or nude massage while Mr. Epstein masturbated himself. For other women, the conduct escalated to full sexual intercourse. Dot yet, Trump's current labor secretary, the single person most responsible for policing illegal child labor and human trafficking, ignored the victims and spent his time personally conferring with the billionaire's lawyers. Two weeks ago, the Justice Department announced an internal investigation into Acosta's behavior. Acosta personally interceded to protect Epstein from his office sending out the lawfully required notices to his victims, which are required to be delivered before any plea deal is sealed on multiple occasions for nine months after he agreed to stand down his prosecution. His prosecutors even agreed to keep the non-prosecution agreement totally secret and to refuse to even give a copy of it to his victims unless they pursued a compulsory legal process. Jeffrey Epstein used those nine months to challenge his non-prosecution at the highest levels of the Department of Justice, while his victims thought the FBI was still trying to determine if there was enough evidence to file charges based on the government's misleading written notices to them. Ultimately, victims were kept in the dark until more than a week after Epstein pleaded guilty in a Palm Beach County Circuit Court when the current lawsuit was filed in federal by attorney Bradley Edwards who says that today's ruling should result in the non-prosecution agreement being invalidated. Jeffrey Epstein was facing life in prison in 2008 when he got Alexander Acosta to let him off the hook with a slap on the wrists, and nobody found out about the billionaire's secret deal until late last year when the Miami Herald's Julie Kay. Brown revealed the entire shameful affair in her award-winning investigative report Perversion of Justice.